Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to create virtual hard disk on Windows Server 2022 and auto mount it at the startup. So let's go to the server and go to server manager. Go to tools and select computer management. Select disk management. and click on more action in the right hand side click on create vht click on browse i will store this virtual hard disk on my c drive and exchange volumes folder so let's create a new folder here and call it vhdx let's name this virtual hard disk as db01 and click on save Let's select GB here and I'm going to give 50 GB of space for this hard disk and I will select VHDX as a format and I will also leave dynamically expanding as a virtual hard disk type. Click OK and create one more hard disk in the same way. We will call this as DB02. As you see, both the hard disk have been mounted. So let's initialize this and create a new volume and mount it on the same folder, which is called Exchange Volumes, and create a new folder here called EX Volume 1 and click OK. Select Next. Let's name this as EX Volume 1 and select next and finish. Let's open File Explorer and go to C Drive, Exchange Volumes. As you can see, we have two virtual hard disks created here and EX Volume 1 is mounted on the EX Volume 1 folder. You can also see the space which is 50 GB and the volume is EX volume 1. So let's do the same for EX volume 2. As you can see, we have created two virtual hard disks in the C drive and we have also mounted this virtual hard disk on these folders. You can also verify the icons of this uh, virtual hard disk or the virtual hard disk mount points. Let's restart the system and come back once it is restarted. We are back from the restart. Let's go to our file explorer, go to C drive and go to exchange volumes. As you can see, the folders icons have been changed and you can also see the size is empty. If you try to double click on this folder, it will give you this volume is unavailable. So let's click OK and go to server manager. Click on tools and go to computer management. Go to disk management here. As you see, the virtual hard disk have been dismounted or not mounted at the startup. So let's fix this by using task scheduler and create a scheduled task to mount this virtual hard disk at the startup. Let's go to start and Open Task Scheduler. Let's click on Create Task. Name this as Auto Mount VHDX on Startup. Let's run this whether the user is logged in or not, and also run this with highest privileges. Go to Triggers. Select new on the drop down menu, select at startup 
and click OK. Let's go to Actions, click on New. In the Programmer script, let's type PowerShell because we are going to use PowerShell command like to mount this hard disk. And we will use mount disk image command like with the image path which is our virtual hard disk path and close it with double quotes select ok let's create another action for the second hard disk with the same PowerShell as a program and the same uh, mount disk image commandlet with the image path parameter and we will just change the name to db02 which is the full path for the second virtual hard disk select ok once you have this verified click ok and provide the credentials Let's go back to our computer management. As you see, we do not have any virtual hard disk mounted now. We will run this task manually just to test it. As you see, the virtual hard disk have been attached and you can also verify the same on the folder here. This is working as expected. Let's restart the system and see if it is actually starting at the startup. We are back from the restart. Let's go to server manager. Go to computer management. And select disk management here. As you see, the virtual hard disk have been mounted automatically. You can see the same on file explorer the virtual hard disk have been mounted on this particular folders so that's it for this video guys i hope this was informative see you on the next one